These are tangrams. There are seven individual shapes in a complete set. We have five shapes that are right angle triangles. We also have a square and a parallelogram. One of the ways in which we can use the tangrams is to compare length. Now there's a variety of ways in which we can do that. One way is through direct comparison. So we put the two side lengths up against each other to compare which one is longer. And in this case, we can very easily see this side length is longer than this one. Another way in which we can compare the side lengths is to use the same size non-standard units. So in this case, we have paper clips. We start by lining up the end of the paper clip with the end of the length that we want to measure. And we can continue to tile the paper clips to get an idea of about how long this side length is. And it's about four paper clips. Now we can do the exact same thing with this side length, and we can see that it's about two paper clip lengths long. One other way in which we can do it is to use a centimeter length. And in this case, we can start at the end. Now we could line up a whole bunch of the centimeter lengths, or we could just use one and we could measure by iterating. So what I'm doing is just making a little mark so that I can see where to move it to. And then I would count how many spaces. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's about nine centimeters. And then I could do the same thing with this length that I want to compare. So there's one, two, three, four, and a bit more. And this is one way in which we can use the tangram shapes to help us with measuring length.